hello! What I have here today is a Bombay and Cedar subscription box. I am not at all sure how I found this. I can't recall. I ordered this a long time ago. I don't know if like I missed the cutoff of the first month or something like that. It feels like it's been two months, but maybe it just felt long. I don't know. This is how it came. So it's a little dinged up, a little, a little like things could have escaped by themselves. Hopefully they didn't. Yeah, that sort of feels like things could have popped out. We're gonna open this up, we're gonna check it out. I can't remember what box I got. I think it's a beauty box. So hopefully it says inside. Let's go. Because I hate the sounds of unwrapping and scraping cardboard, I'm gonna mute this part. So we have a card, it says the August 2020 beauty box. So it is the 1st of September today. This came a bit late, I guess. I definitely did order it two months ago at the very least, but it's all right. We have a whole thing that tells us what's in here. I did a peek and then decided, oh, I'm not gonna look at that because we will look at it as we go. And then here we have, be good to your fabulous self. A little card with, oh, it seemed like it was very thick. It's like cardboard for some reason, I don't know why. And it says, we believe women deserve to feel awesome. My little mascara club, get 10% and, oh, save 10% and get gorgeous lashes. And then you text a code to this number. I don't know what this is. is. Is it a mascara subscription or something? Essence Lash Princess is the only thing I use. I have short little stubby lashes and that's all that I can use. Super affordable. I just bought two in the Ulta sales. Okay. And then on the back of this, I just noticed it says get rewarded, create a store account, make a purchase, you know, the usual get loyalty points and stuff. Oh, and here's a tip. Reuse your drawstring bag. Clean your shower head with it. Fill it up with vinegar and then tie it around your shower head. I never thought of doing that. Or hang a bag up near your dryer to have quick to have a quick lint trap disposal. Yeah, I have a little tub from some old detergent that I use for my lint stuff. That's weird. Okay, not not helpful really, but Okay, let's open that. And I will take the first thing, which is this fluffy thingy, reusable mascara remover wipes. Okay, so I actually just bagged up one of these that I'm giving to my mom because she gave it to me and I don't use it because I use two separate methods to take my eye makeup off. I will give this a try. Oh wait, oh, apply fresh micellar water to a dry erase reusable wipe, press it on your closed eye, wipe it off, blah, blah. Wash the erase wipes every three to seven days. It's instead of cotton wipes, I get it now. <laughs> That's actually cool. That's cool. And then on the bottom it says, available exclusively at My Little Mascara Club. So I guess maybe there are a couple products from that brand in here, I don't know. I do think that's cool, environmentally friendly and conscious, good thing to have, okay. All right, what's this next thing? We have Evolu, Evolu, Age Perfect Eye Cream. I've never actually purchased eye cream myself. I only get it in subscription boxes. They really love sending this stuff. I think it's because it is a normal facial moisturizer that is in a smaller tube, and that's why they give you it. This, however, is in a very large tube, really, for an eye cream. The ingredients are purified water, organic pressed jojoba oil, or it actually says oik, but I'm assuming that's a typo. Squall Squalane, 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 beeswax, mm, and then actually try peptides and stuff like that. Sodium hyaluronate, L-arginine, could be some nice things in here. I think it's incredibly large for an eye cream. I still have maybe seven that I'm going through from other subscription boxes over the years. So, all right, that'll hop into the rotation. At that size, I might even use it on my face. I don't know, all right. Let's see what else is in there. We have a eyeshadow palette. They are three shades of nude, clearly not my jam. This is what the box looks like. And the brand is Cougar by Paula something small that I can't see. This box is a little beaten up, so I am just going to destroy it because I'm not good at opening these without destroying boxes. Ugh. Okay, and it is three neutral shimmers. I will be putting this in my box to give to a friend 
or maybe if I somehow ever do a giveaway on this channel. I'm not even gonna swatch it because there's really no way that I will like these tones. They're just not my jam. So we will save that for someone else. Okay, next box of things. Solid water, ooh. Probiotic toner, ooh. Oh, this sounds like that milk hydration stick. You know the one. Okay, let's open this. Anything moisturizy is my jam. I just hope this isn't like the Seate London glass stick though. <gasps> ooh, I like the look of this. I like the aesthetic of this product. I don't know what's in it, but they sold me on the aesthetic. Ooh. You know what? I used to have a bunch of these like from e.l.f. They're hydration sticks. They're not fab. They're honestly not fab, but hopefully the ingredients of this are nice. Let's see how much product we get in here out of interest sake. That is quite a nice chunk of product. Keep going. Keep going. It's oddly textured. It gets a little bumpy as though it wasn't mixed properly. I don't know. I have to look up these brands. It is heavily perfumed. It smells super talky. Let's see what's in it. Water, glycerin, sodium stearate, methyl ester dimethyl silane. Ooh, Centella Asiatica extract, which from my understanding is an anti-inflammatory. I think I used that in some products. Uh, fruit extract, pumpkin, soybean, grape, blah, 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 bunch of stuff. So the fact is water and glycerin, it has a humectant and it has water. And then it does have something that's supposed to be anti-inflammatory, I believe. So I think that this could be a nice product. You know what? Why not? Let's just, ooh, ah. <laughs> it feels just like the e.l.f. one, but it's a little more drag to it. Like, like the e.l.f. one, I felt like I just slid it over my skin, but this feels like it's gripping a little more. Ooh, I actually, I like this. Oh, bummer, that sucks. So maybe this melted along the way or something. Look, it just literally popped right out. Not super impressed. There's like nothing in the product that was gripping the base really. I will give it the benefit of the doubt that it is the summer and maybe it melted though. And it feels nice. I very much enjoy the aesthetic of this, even though I feel like I'm putting deodorant on my face. Mm, feels pretty good. More as sort of a sealant. I would use this during the day to top up my moisture. All right, what else do we have? Another box of things. Micellar water with cucumber. This is a fresh mascara makeup remover. This is obviously part of that love mascara thingy club. This feels different to any other eye makeup remover. I felt it feels rectangular and hard. Let's see what this is like. Oh, it's just a little, a little jar. A little jar of stuff. Looks good. I mean, okay. I really do like that I have two products that work together. Literally, literally, because when I got these, I was like, huh, I don't have any micellar water. I do have some liquid eye makeup remover that I haven't used in ages, but this is nice to have something that people are definitely going to be able to use together. Like I could use this tonight, although I never want to take this eye makeup look off. Looky, looky, looky. I really like it. I'm very happy with it. I'm never taking it off. If there could be a way to just seal eye makeup on for like a week or two, I'd be so happy. Okay, that's nice. What's next? We have one final thing in here and it is a second skin corrector. Interesting. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Let's open it up. Oh wait, ultra brand, ugh. ultra blendable color correctors made with hydrating olive squalane and natural pigments to banish redness, brighten your complexion and correct dark circles. I'm very psyched that this whole box seems to be for a dry skin person. I don't remember if I customize anything, but it's made for me, that's for sure. Ooh, how is this my skin tone? It's certainly peachy. It is a little too pinky peachy for me. I think I'm a little more yellow. I think. How's my hand look? More yellow? What do we think? Yeah. But uh, this could be good. Oh wait, peach is good for dark circles. Duh. Duh. Let's open this. Because I've got dark circles. I do. It's the ultimate thing that breaks my nail polish is opening things like this. Let's try it on right now. Woo. Oh my gosh. I just love this eyeshadow look so much. I'll keep looking at it. So pretty. I didn't even film this look. I just had a couple minutes this morning and put it on. Oh, can't open this. Hey, okay. That's a weird thing doing makeup videos and stuff on YouTube is I feel like I need to film everything, but sometimes I just have a good time while I'm making coffee, sticking stuff on my face. All right, this is way too dark for my face, I think. I think. Let's, let's see how it corrects that. Maybe if it's 
shades underneath concealer. I don't know. Maybe I do need one shade lighter. This just says peach. So is there a light peach? I don't know. What's the brand anyways? Second Skin Concealer. Perhaps that's the brand. Hey, hello. 100% pure. Is that the brand? 100% pure is the brand. Dude, you need to work on your labeling or something. Look at that. There's the brand. I couldn't tell that that's a brand name. Is that just me? And and there's the brand on the end there. Like to me, it just feels like it's saying this is 100% pure as opposed to the brand name. Anyways, let's blend this out and see how it looks. Hmm. Oh my. How did they know my skin tone? Did I tell them? I think that looks good, right? What do you think? I think that looks good. I can't say a thing. <laughs> Uh, I definitely see more dark circles there than there. And I have concealer on, by the way. I didn't do color corrector though, which I do love to do, but for some reason I didn't today. So maybe I psychically knew that this was gonna be in the box. What do you think, with or without? Hmm? I'm gonna put the other side on just to be even, but I think it looks good. I think it's also exactly my skin tone. So I'm kind of perplexed. Is it that my skin tone is the most typical skin tone that these beauty products cater to, which is awful, you know? Or would they have something else for someone with a deeper skin tone? I'll look right now quickly and see if I customize anything. And blend that out a little. I think that's lovely. I mean, I use my e.l.f. color corrector though, and I think that's lovely too. Maybe lovelier, I don't know. But okay, what do we think? Uh, my skin feels nice and moist, I like that a lot. I think this was a good win, except for the eyeshadow. Like, I'm just, yeah, I'm so particular with my eyeshadow, I really am. Like, this thing is meh, I'll give that to someone else. But the solid water product is lovely. The fact that it broke, I will attribute to the temperature. The micellar water and the eye makeup remover thingies goes wonderfully together. Yeah, well done. The eye cream is on point with the concept of this whole box, but also it's in every subscription box and this is enormous. And the skin corrector is excellent. Ooh, let's look at the printout. Eye candy, essentials for bright and beautiful eyes. I don't know if that's a box I chose or if that's just a... Uh... Okay, so that was the theme of their August box. So we had three shades of nude mineral eyeshadow by Cougar Beauty, $12 value looks about right, overly inflated from $2 production cost or something. Maybe not even. Colors can be blended to suit your mood and look. <laughs> Just calm down now. Second skin corrector. Ultra blendable color correctors made with blah, 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 everything that I told you. $25 value. I don't think so. Nope. My e.l.f. one is $3 and I think it's just fine. I think it's $3, maybe even less. Equal kind of peachy shade. Lovely product. I would never spend that much on it. That's for sure. Solid Water Probiotic Facial Toner by We Are Wild. $24 value. Nope. Age Perfect Eye Cream or Hydrating Serum. Okay. I probably would have much more enjoyed a hydrating serum. Eye cream. I just put my normal moisturizer on. Ooh, the serum is a unique formula of high, low, and super low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. Uh, they, <laughs> they say it's anywhere from 68 to $98 value. It does have some nice ingredients in it. I would never spend that on eye cream. If I got the serum, I would have been super psyched about that, but I would never spend that much on a serum either. I would be far more curious to actually get the Hada Labo premium hyaluronic liquid. I think it's called. I'm not sure. There are a couple different kinds, but they have multiple molecular weights of hyaluronic acid in it, and it's super affordable. You can get it on Amazon. I haven't gotten it yet because I live in Colorado and I'm trying to not use as much hyaluronic acid because it's super dry and there's no moisture in the air. If you're somewhere a little more humid, you might really enjoy that, but you don't have to spend 68 to $98 on that. Mm -mm. And then we have the Fresh Micellar Water Mascara Remover by the My Little Mascara Club. $15 value, sounds about right, looks about right. I do like that they have the bunny stamp of cruelty-free, that's awesome. And then the reusable mascara remover wipes, they're $10 value, also awesome. I think that's excellent. This is a lovely box. I really like it. As per every box that I seem to try, the prices seem inflated. I don't care. So let's look at what I actually spent on this. Oh, okay, cool. So I popped into my Bombay and Cedar account and they do have a nice little question and answer section. What's your age range? 35 to 44 is what I said. Skin type, dry. So I have some humectant sort of products. I'm really psyched about that. And what is your skin tone range? I did say light, eye color gray, hair color, other other. Yeah. <laughs> and hair type curly. So I kind of feel, oh, and I said I'm vegan, which is vegan-ish, but okay with products with ethically sourced beeswax and honey, which I think was in this. Yeah, it's in the eye cream. It has beeswax in here. So that's cool to know that this is probably ethically sourced. Nice. So a big peeve that I have with Ipsy is that I keep getting products 
for oily skin. I keep getting charcoal stuff, blotting papers and things like that, like completely useless to me. I am parchment dry. So it really bugs me. I've reached out to them. I've done all the customizing things. Obviously, I love this kind of stuff. I love customizing. I love adding my input and, and trying to get something that's good for me. So that really, really, really bugs me with Ipsy. So I'm very tickled that they actually listen to me. Unless there's someone with oily skin who received this as well and is really pissed about it. Although it seems somewhat flexible. But anyways, I love that they listen to me on my coloring. And this is really spot on. It's, it's spot on. I like that they have fair, light, medium, tan, dark, and deep. I'd be really interested to see what a deep skin tone, oily skinned person got. Like, did they get something that was very well customized to them? That'd be really interesting. So that's really nice. However, the box is $31.95. So almost $32. That's a bit too pricey for me. That's a bit too pricey. So I already canceled it before I even received it. I just wanted to try it out. I actually had to cancel like a month and a half ago, I think, because I didn't want to get September's box, but still hadn't received August. I think I'm liking this idea of trying out different subscription boxes. For the intro price, I got a discount. Not sure what the discount was, but I know it was $7.99. So I paid $23 dollars and 96 cents. I think that is reasonable for what I got, but that is on the high end. That's more than I am happy spending. I prefer $15 and under because that feels frivolous. That's an amount of money that I'm somewhat okay risking on getting a present that I might like. You know what I mean? Anything more and I feel like I should save the money and buy something intentionally. So I wouldn't be continuing this box. I think, I do think it's well done. It's well done, it's well curated. Their recommendations of what to do with this bag is a little odd, a little odd, but interesting. Oh, and they said that the total value is 154 to $184, which I think is rubbish. Like I've said before, I think that's rubbish for most subscription boxes. It doesn't matter what they say the cost is, it matters what I would spend. I think I would spend six dollars four dollars we've got ten two dollars because i would not buy an eye cream necessarily so we've got 12 another four dollars on the micellar water so we've got 16 and these eye erase things i'd probably spend five dollars for at 21 dollars and i would not purchase the eyeshadow so a 21 dollar value which is funny now because i just said i spent about 24 dollars so definitely a bit too steep for me but i will use some of these products and enjoy them if you have tried Bombay and Cedar, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. If you got this particular bag, box, whatever we're calling it, I would love to hear your opinions on that. Have you tried the intro thing or is this something that you get regularly and do you find this good value for money? We have recommendations of a different subscription box that I should try. I hope you leave them down below. I'm open to most things to be totally honest. It doesn't have to be makeup or beauty or skincare or anything. I am interested in trying lifestyle stuff too or a mystery or a whiskey. I have looked at those. They're very expensive, but intriguing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, had fun, found it interesting, entertaining, whatever, I hope you hit the like button down below and stick around and subscribe while you're here. Click that notification bell if you want to hear about any of my other videos as they are released. Wherever you are, I hope you're having the best day that you possibly can. Be kind to the people around you and thanks for hanging out.